Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special housing report in association with ASB and where we talk about interest rates and in particular the arcane world of yield curves. Really this is interesting, don't turn off. It's all about interest rates for mortgages and whether it's more attractive to go long term with a long term fixed mortgage or short term. Because in the last three months or so interest rates have changed substantially and the outlook has changed. And the way to think about long-term fixed versus short-term fixed or even variable has changed over that time as well. Let's have a look at this chart which shows three yield curves. Essentially it shows where mortgage rates were back in September. That's the top line. The middle line is where they were at the end of October. And the one at the bottom shows where they are now or around about the end of November. What it shows is the yield curve has obviously dropped as interest rates have dropped, but the yield curve has also flattened. New Zealand in the reasonably recent past has had a history of what they call negative yield curves. That where, that's where frankly it's cheaper to go for a long long term fixed rate than it is to go for a variable rate. That's not always been the case, but certainly the last four or five years New Zealanders have fallen in love with long term fixed rate mortgages. I'm talking two years or longer. Now that's about to change and the yield curve is going to go from being steeply, steeply negative towards being the more traditional, a positive yield curve. That means interest rates at the short term, so six month fixed rate mortgage or even a variable rate, will become cheaper than those at the long term, two or three years. And we're starting to see that yield curve go from being steeply negative to positive. So. What does this mean for those people who are thinking of getting a mortgage in the next six months or so? Well essentially interest rates are falling quite fast and that's particularly at the short end, so the short short term interest rates. Because the Reserve Bank is cutting the official cash rate which is the overnight rate the banks pay. They're cutting that aggressively. This Thursday we're likely to see a 150 basis point cut in the official cash rate down from 65 to 5% and variable mortgage rates and short term rates will no doubt follow that. In fact some of it's already been anticipated. So what we'll see over that time, over the next six months or so, as the official cash rate drops to around about 4% most people say, is a gradual flattening and then steepening of a yield curve that goes positive. All of this means it will be more attractive to go for a short term interest rate for your mortgage than a long term one. I'm Bernard Hickey with a special report, very exciting, on yield curves. We love talking about yield curves here at interest.co.nz, brought to you in association with ASB.